Hi guys! Um, we've talked a lot about projectiles, we've done a lot of work in projectiles, and we're going to talk today about projectiles that are launched upward. Up until this point, we've only talked about projectiles that were free-falling, dropping straight down, or projectiles that were launched at a straight angle outward. Because the math for objects that are actually launched upward is much more difficult than those uh, than the math for objects that are launched straight outward horizontally. Um, and that is due be to the fact that we have to take into account the original uh, vertical velocity and the angle at which it is fired. So let's say that we've got a cannon that is trying to hit a castle. Um, we've got a cannon that's trying to hit a castle that is a ways off, some distance. And we want to calculate how far off our cannon has to be in order to siege this keep. Right, it's a keep more. Oh, I'll make it a castle. Here we go. It's a castle. Okay, so we have got this castle, and we're trying to siege it with our cannon, and we need to figure out how far away our cannon needs to be in order to actually hit that castle. So there are a couple of things that we need to talk about. The distance that a projectile launched um, is actually called the range of that projectile. So the change in x for projectiles that are launched upwards, or even projectiles that are launched horizontally, we call that distance the range. The projectile will move in that parabolic arc, except instead of going straight downward, it will go outward first. And let's assume that that castle doesn't actually hit the castle, because that will also mess up our math. But it will make a project. Uh, parabolic arc, just like we saw with the projectiles before. Now, to calculate this distance, we're not going to do it. We're not going to really mess around with this, but there are some things that I want you to understand. This distance is called the range. The highest point, so this is really delta x, is called the range. The, the highest point is called the height. And I think that makes sense for most of you guys. We call the highest point at which this, this object moves the height. This entire time, we can be breaking this projectile's motion down into its component vectors. So if these were the components, this would be the original set of information for this particular, for this particular projectile. Um, and as it goes upward, gravity is actually going to affect this velocity and change it so that it shrinks. So here, our horizontal would be the same because there is no acceleration, there is no force in the horizontal direction, but our velocity in the y direction is much, much smaller. At this topmost point, we call this the apex. Apex just means top or highest or most. Um, and this is the apex. When it is at the apex, it actually has no vertical velocity at all. It hangs in the air for just a moment, just an instant, where the original velocity has all been changed due to gravity uh, until it's zero. So it's not moving up or it's not moving down, but in the horizontal direction, it is still moving. Then, strangely enough, on the opposite side, it will be exactly mirrored, where the horizontal velocity will be the same. All of these, I'm trying to draw the arrow the same, but I'm not very good at it. So all of these horizontal components of this parabolic arc are the same, and the vertical components are the ones that are changing, but exactly opposite on the parabolic arc. This is the same as this, except that it's opposite. So if this were uh, 10 meters per second, this would be negative 10 second. And that's true for everywhere. So the exact opposite here, this would be the original y velocity, which is not quite that big. The original y velocity and the original x velocity, these things would be the same, which is pretty cool. Now, let's talk about the angle at which projectiles are launched. Because there's some really pretty cool things that happen and I'm saying cool a lot, but I think that this is really cool. There's some cool things that happen when we change the arc of our cannon. Let's say that this is a 30 degree angle. 
If we launch this at a 30 degree angle, it will mostly be horizontal. And it would give us a range of something like this. If we changed it to a 60 degree angle, and I'm going to change my color to pink so that you guys can see it. If I change this to a 60 degree angle, it would look something like this. And it would go much, much, much higher. But it would actually land, the range would be the exact same. We call these two angles 60 degrees and 30 degrees complementary angles. In projectiles, if you launch something at complementary angles with the same force originally, then you end up with the same exact range. In fact, this is true for any two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So if we were to launch something at 15 degrees, it would go much shorter. Or if we were to launch it at 75 degrees, it would go much higher, but because these two are complementary angles, the point at which it lands, the range, is exactly the same, which is pretty awesome. Now, this brings me to my final point. What's the optimum range? So when we launch it at 15 degrees, we have a lot of horizontal velocity, but it doesn't have much time in the air before gravity changes the direction of this projectile and starts bringing it back toward the ground. So it doesn't stay in the air for very long, so it lands very short. The opposite is true for if we change it to 75 degrees. 75 degrees, it would stay in the air for a really, really long time, but the horizontal component is so small that it wouldn't go very far. As we increase that or decrease that angle, 30 degrees, it's not as much horizontal velocity, but it stays in the air much longer, giving us a much longer range. The optimum angle to launch any projectile, I'm sure that you guys can actually guess, is 45 degrees. 45 degrees makes it so that... 45 degrees makes it so that our... our Distance upward, our velocity upward, is about the same, exactly the same, as our velocity outward. So our horizontal velocity and our vertical velocity are the same, giving us our largest range. So 45 degrees is our optimum range. So if you ever decide to set up a cannon and besiege some castle, you know that you want to set up your cannon at 45 degrees so that you can get the longest range out of that cannon. We'll talk a lot more about projectiles launched upward during next class.